Yo, what's good with y'all boys, man? In this video, I'm going to be showing you all the new movesets that were added in this new release date game called Roblox Anime Battlegrounds. So let's get right into the video. So first things first, I'm going to show you the character movement. So this is moving forward. This is moving backward. This is moving to the right and this is moving to the left. This is the dash forward punch and this is the back dash. Right now, this current moveset I'm using is for Deku and here are the basic M1s for Deku. Here's going to be the uppercut. And here's going to be the down slam. Now the first move for Deku is called Detroit Punch. And this is what happens. The second move for Deku is called Manchester Stomp. And this is what happens. The third move for Deku is called Delaware Bullet. And this is what happens. And the fourth move for Deku is called Lewis Kick, and this is what happens. Also, as y'all boys already know, if you're playing on PC, you press the F button to block, and there should also be a button for you to block if you're playing on mobile. The block animation is pretty much the same as with the other Battleground games. And now here's the finisher for Deku for the Manchester Stomp move. And now here's the finisher for the Detroit Punch move for Deku. And now here's the finisher for the Delaware Bullet move for Deku. And that other player just gone, man. And now here's the finisher for the Lewis Kick move for Deku. And that player is gone, man. Now here's the Awakening for Deku. And now the ultimate moves for Deku. The first one is called 1 million percent. And this is what happens. As you just saw for that ultimate move, it will instantly defeat the other players. Now the second ultimate move is called Black Whip, and this is what happens. The third ultimate move is called Detroit Sequence, and this is what happens. And the fourth ultimate move for Deku is called Delaware Air Force, and this is what happens. And you just instantly defeat the other player, man. Now the next character that was added in this game is obviously Gojo himself. And here are the basic M1s for Gojo, man. Here's the uppercut. And here's the down slam. And now the first move for Gojo is red reversal. And this is what happens. The second move for Gojo is called Whirlwind Strike, and this is what happens. The third move for Gojo is called Cyclone Kick, and this is what happens. And the fourth move for Gojo is called Lapse Blue, and this is what happens. And now here's the finisher for Gojo for the Red Reversal move. As you just saw, that player landed all the way over there, man. And now here's the finisher for the second move for Gojo called Whirlwind Strike. And that player is gone, man. Now here's the finisher for the third move for Gojo called Cyclone Kick. And that player is also gone, man. Now here's the finisher for the fourth move for Gojo. And that player is gone. Now here's the awakening for Gojo in this game. Now for the first ultimate move for Gojo, it is called Ultimate Red and this is what happens. The second ultimate move for Gojo is called Max Blue and this is what happens. The third ultimate move for Gojo is called Hollow Purple and this is what happens. Now the fourth ultimate move for Gojo is called Infinite Void, and this is what happens.
and you basically instantly defeat that other player and you won't be able to use the other ultimate moves now the last character in this game right now is called espada but the character is currently an early access character so comment down below if y'all boys want me to try out the early access character that is in the game right now so far what do y'all boys think about the moves for deku and also the moves for gojo in this new release date game also what do y'all boys think about this game so far man leave a comment down below on what you think about this also make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel bro